And New York Republican Congressman Anthony D'Esposito is a close ally of Speaker McCarthy, and he voted against removing McCarthy from office. He joins us now from Capitol Hill. Thank you so much, Congressman, for being here with us. Uh, this is not the kind of history I imagine you hope to make in this Congress. Definitely not. Uh, you know, I was actually just speaking with former Congressman Pete King, uh, and he said that uh, I have already uh, voted on more speaker elections than he did in his career. So, no, not a, not a, uh, a historical moment that I'm proud of. Well, so what message do you think you're sending to the American people with today's vote? I mean, the Republican caucus doesn't seem to have their act together. Well, I, I would disagree. I think that uh, a majority of the Republicans in the House of Representatives do have their act together, and that's why we've worked so hard uh, to pass things across the floor that uh, many have said were impossible. Uh, and we d did it under the leadership of Speaker McCarthy. Unfortunately, we have uh, five to seven um, people that uh, want to run this uh, institution in their own way. Uh, and when it comes to Matt Gates, it's all about Matt Gates. That's the only person that he's concerned about. It's about his ego. It's about raising money. It's not about the American people. It's definitely not about the Republican Party. I mean, he criticized many Republicans last Saturday for putting forth the CR, the 45-day extension, to make sure that our government continues to run, uh, and criticized us because we did it working in a bipartisan fashion. What he seems to forget, and which, what's most hypocritical about it, is that today uh, he put a resolution up to oust the Speaker of the House, and the only way he got it passed was by working with far-left Democrats and the entire Democratic Party. All right. Uh, you know, he's gotten a lot of fire from your fellow Republicans. Mark Molinaro called the coup today, quote, some sort of weird pseudo-psychopolitical fetish that needs to come to an end. Other GOP congressmen called Gates a fool and a liar. Newt Gingrich actually said that Gates is destroying the GOP's ability to govern. Do you agree? Yeah, he is. I mean, you know, we had uh, last Saturday, I think we had a win for the American people and that we put that 45-day extension. Was it everything that everybody wanted? Absolutely not. But it gave us an opportunity to get back to the table, to roll up our sleeves and to work for the American people. People in my district, that's what they sent me here to do. They sent me here to govern, not to play these personality com com conflict games uh, and stroke Matt Gates's ego. And it's just ridiculous. The fact that we now have to, instead of focusing on put appropri putting appropriations on the floor um, and making sure that uh, we can fund our government, we now have to focus over the next days, uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long, but uh, getting a speaker back. So what happens next? Are you going to meet tonight? Are you going, I mean, is there a game plan? It's hard to believe that, you know, there would be a vote and, and this ousting of the speaker and nobody has an, a, any idea of what the next step is. Yeah, so the Republican, we have a conference meeting, I think, within the hour. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll all get together into a room. We'll uh, understand, you know, the rules of the House and how this proceeds, and we will come up with a plan. And uh, I hope that we walk out of that room a unified front and that we have the ability uh, to put a speaker in office and continue the work of the American people. Can any business get done in Congress until you get a permanent speaker installed? Unfortunately not. And uh, any, wow. any work that's stalled, any, uh, anything that's being held up, the fact that we can't put appropriation bills on the floor, there's one person to blame and one person only, and his name is Matt Gates. I got to ask you, you are a close ally of Kevin McCarthy. He endured 15 rounds of voting to finally win the speakership. And by all accounts of people who know him well, he loved that job. Do you have any idea how he's feeling right now? Is he angry? Is he dis he must be disappointed? He wanted that job badly. Was able was willing to endure 15 rounds of voting that some might have thought would be humiliating even uh, to get the job and to now be ousted like this. I'm curious what how he's reacting to all of this. Well. I will say this. Over the last year, I've gotten to know uh, Kevin McCarthy, not only as a speaker, not only as a leader, but as a friend. Uh, and I will tell you that uh, he is going to work as hard as he possibly can. Uh, I am confident in, uh, in him becoming speaker again. And uh, one thing that I've learned over the last year, one thing that we've seen from the beginning of this 118th Congress, never, ever count Kevin McCarthy out. So I'm curious, we just heard an interview that Joe Khalil uh, did with Representative Burchett sitting on the steps of the Capitol. Him, Burch Representative Burchett, didn't seem to know what was, uh, you know, he actually raised the possibility. He said, well, I don't know, maybe I would vote for Kevin again to be Speaker. Is there any chance that Kevin McCarthy will run again to be Speaker of the House? 
Well, I think that uh, we'll see in the next uh, couple of hours how this plays out. I think us going into conference is an important step in the direction. Uh, and like I said just a couple of seconds ago, don't ever, ever count Kevin McCarthy out. I just have to give, uh, ask you one last question. We know that polls show that most Americans are disgusted with politicians on both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats. Um, how do you respond to those who say that what happened today, yes, it's history, but it also looks a bit like a clown show? Everything that uh, Matt Gates created today uh, gives the American people the reason as to why they dislike politics and government. And if, uh, like I said, if there's anybody to blame about the chaos and the dysfunction that has uh, been displayed today, uh, there's one person and his name is Matt Gates. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.